now since someone killed two Delphi teenagers while they were on an afternoon hike. Police have taken thousands of tips, with the pace picking up even more this week after the grandfather of one of the girls spoke out. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker was in Delphi, where people continue to find new ways to reach out and support the families and their community. Well, John, so many people in Delphi and the surrounding communities have really been touched by this tragedy, and many of them have been looking for ways to help. And today they found it at this fundraiser here in Burlington. And it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just heartbreaking. It's just too heartbreaking. Delphi native and resident Jennifer Beck used to walk the same trail Libby German and Abby Williams did in the final hours of their lives. I have two daughters. Did the same thing. That's why Beck wanted to do something to help the girls' families. So she hosted this benefit cook-off at a restaurant. Close to 200 people came through these doors Saturday, some from several hours away. It hurt a lot of people, and it bothered some into wanting to help. Libby's grandfather, Mike Patty, spoke with Eyewitness News Friday, saying he was encouraged by the tips that have come in about the man in this picture, a person investigators call their prime suspect. Truly looking for that single tip that really breaks this case wide open and gets the investigators what they need. Police have called Libby a hero for recording video of the man on her cell phone that day. Video that led to this picture and audio. Investigators say that's the suspect speaking. The audio is like seared forever in my brain. Jennifer Beck said people can't hear it enough or look at this picture. Take that one minute to look at the picture. Take that one minute to listen to that voice. Take it every day. And also here today at the fundraiser, they passed out these ribbons. They're purple and teal. This was Libby and Abby's favorite colors. And the people here said that they plan to keep wearing these ribbons until this killer is caught. John. All right. Thank you, Emily Longnecker in Carroll County tonight. You know, pretty much everyone is hoping police can solve this case soon. And even though nearly a month has passed since someone killed the girls, they are not giving up. And it's a reminder tonight that no tip is too small. The tip line number is on your screen right now, 844-459-5786. You can also find that number and an email address where you can send tips on our website, WTHR.com. We also put it for you on the WTHR app.